looking at the residue after I tried to magnetically extract things to see uh, what various things are in the other sample. It's the same sample, but I just tried to extract the uh, magnetic particles, and this is the non-magnetic particles, and what do we have? Okay. <laughs> It's not surprising, it's just this extremely large amount of calcium, isn't it? Um, but again, you're essentially seeing George Joshua products. But a very, very, very strong peak for calcium. Okay, so we're going to have a look at a wider area, I think, um, of this uh, sample where I tried to extract the magnetic particles. Mm -hmm. So let's have a look. So where were we? Are we over here or here? Let, let's have a look in this area and do a map of this area. Mm -hmm. See what we see there. A little bit bigger magnification. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's good, yeah. Let's see what we have there. Wow, look at this little strand here. Yeah, it's nice. Beautiful, with little balls on it. <laughs> you can see that there. Let's do a map of this whole area and then let's have a look at this one later. I Just because it's. I make first the photo. Oh, okay, okay. And, uh, can you come back to this? I come, okay, come back. all right. It's just funny because it's like on its own with these spheres around it. So maybe the carbon of that piece of wood got lofted up into the plasma and in, in because it doesn't melt, because carbon's got such a high melting point, that you had the condensation of the metals uh, that were at least in the plasma. Of course, you know, we need to do a lot more tests before we're absolutely certain they're being formed in the plasma, but there's definitely some spheres here. And in fact, when you look over here, there's incredibly small nano spheres on there. So this little fiber of uh, charcoal was able to, would seemingly have been able to loft itself up into Now all the way along, all the way along. This one? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Are you having fun yet, Yana? Perhaps we should do a map of that? Yes, we try it. Mm -hmm. If it will not be happens with a photo. Okay, so we are having a look at this mm -hmm. uh, little fibre that has all these little spheres on it. Can see here and let's see what it's seeing so obviously the bulk of its carbon and uh, potassium calcium sulfur magnesium silicon sodium chlorine the interesting thing is we're not seeing the iron it's fine because uh, this is in the front and uh, this is behind right 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 but we're not seeing iron mm -hmm. so the extraction process with the uh, using the magnet seemed to be fairly effective at least for this very rough first test of a two minute run in the reactor. <laughs> 